<coughs> impressive. Very impressive, Lon. <coughs> your persistence is the measurement of belief in yourself. And I am fascinated by the human mind. Particularly the mind of those who persist in the face of adversity and disappointment. While you've been saving the world, I've been observing you. Observing? You were preserved to test your abilities and to give me all the knowledge I need. That chamber, those dreams, headaches I've been having. It was you. To be a human is to be in a state of tension between your appetites and your dreams. Dreams are often at odds with one's realities, demanding freedoms and resources we may not have. Dreams also open up one's fears and weaknesses. You were reading and trying to manipulate my mind. That's how you discovered the location of the hideout. Damn it! Mapping out the human brain and its neurons has opened up a whole world of possibilities. What really sets us apart, what really defines what it means to be human, is our consciousness. I am blessed with the ability to download human consciousness into a synthetic body to create eternal life. It is an ethical Magala. You have no authority to make that decision. You don't get the opportunity to extend life in a robotic body and manipulate the mind. You're wrong, Lon. I have wisdom. I am the creator. I am godlike. Join me. And together with your persistence and determination, combined with my knowledge, we can be omnipotent. We can create our perfect society, a utopia, a world with a high degree of control and regulation. Never. You've created an army of soldiers called Wuxin. You've threatened the existence of human civilization. You took half. Attacked Luna, and tried to twist my mind. You've used the process for evil. I will never join you.
misapprehend the situation, and for that, the best possible cure is purification. Give to me. Give to me. Give to me. <clears throat> Your mind games don't work on me. Luna! Lon! <coughs> Go! Lon, no! Go!
Do you really think you can stop me? Did you really think? 